Bangladesh directly linked to International Transport Route, Prime Minister says in Beijing, urges Chinese businessmen to invest in the country. Court sent 17 arrested to jail for alleged involvement in Kushchen League. PSC chairman assures of cancellation of last exam if evidence found. Students demand quota reform while teachers of public universities demand withdrawal of universal pension scheme Proctor. Good evening. Welcome to the News 24 English Bulletin. This is Sarah Mehzabin. Those were the headlines. Now the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said Bangladesh has a strategic connectivity to international trade and transport routes, highlighting the country's investment potential at the Beijing Business Summit, she urged Chinese businesses to invest in Bangladesh power and infrastructure sectors. During her four-day visit, several agreements were signed. Hasina encouraged Bangladeshi investors to seek Chinese partners, stressing that joint efforts could achieve significant advancements for both nations. Experts opined that solving the Tista water issue required an agreement, not just a project implementation. The State Minister for Water Resources mentioned the possibility of approaching an international court if necessary. Tista water management was a key topic during Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's recent India visit. Following confessional statements from seven individuals, a court has ordered to send the 17 accused to jail involved in the PSC Question League scandal. Meanwhile, PSC Chairman Sohrab Hussain said that if evidence of leakage is found, the exam will be cancelled. On the other hand, job seekers formed a human chain demanding the cancellation of the July 5 exam. The PSC has formed a committee to investigate and suspended detained officials. The postponed HS exams in the Sela division resumed with the ICT exam. A total of 82,795 candidates from 309 institutions are participating. Despite flood disruptions, students expressed concerns over insufficient preparation. Flood conditions have improved in the northern regions, but many in Kurigram remain stranded, with 8,000 hectares of crops destroyed and severe food and water shortages. The situation is also improving in Gaibantha and Jamalpur. Protesters demanding quota reform for government jobs are carrying out mass contact programs in all public universities as per their prior declaration. The mass contacts and protest programs are being held in different universities, including Rajshah University and Chattogram University. The students chanted slogans blockading roads. <laughs> Public university teachers observed a ninth day of an all-out strike demanding the cancellation of the universal pension scheme. On Tuesday, officials and employees merged in front of Dhaka University's Arts Faculty Building, keeping classes closed. Chittagong University and Rajshah University also participated. They stated they are in contact with the government and will decide on further action after consulting with the Teachers Association and University Teachers this evening. We will be back after a short break. Please stay with us. Welcome back. You are watching News 24 English Bulletin. A Wamalik president member at the same time, Civil Aviation and Tourism Minister MD Farooq Khan said the issue of quota movement has to be disposed in the court. He said this at a discussion to mark fourth death anniversary of former Home Minister Sahara Khatun. Another presidium member of Awami League, Motia Choudhury, commemorated Sahara Khatun at the program. 
Awami League General Secretary Obadul Qadir has said his party has cleared position with regard to the Kota movement. He said this at a joint meeting at Bongobontu Avenue in the capital on Tuesday. He said crisis in teachers' movement is not so complex and will be resolved immediately. Qadir also said movements of the teachers and the students are non-political movements. Awami League has to think about support of some vicious quarters like BNP in the movements. That's all from the newsroom today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.